Hi, it's Lisa from Fluigent. Today, I will present you our simple technique for double emulsion with a ray job. Double emulsion has many applications. It has been quite a challenge until today. But really, it doesn't have to be some kind of witchcraft, especially if you do it the right way with our double emulsion ray drop. Our application engineer, Felix, will walk you through all the steps from A to Z. So how does it work? The device is similar to the standard ray drop, like the one we used to produce alginate beads in our recent video. The difference of the double emulsion ray drop is that it has a special double nozzle insert. This allows to connect the core and the shell phases. Instead of two phases for single emulsion, to produce double emulsion we will need three phases. The continuous phase, the shell phase and the core phase. The shell phase has to be immiscible with both other phases. In our example we are using pure water with black ink for the core phase, HFE oil with 2% deserve for the shell phase, and pure water with 1% of tween 20 for the continuous phase. To make things easier, we use our new platform that holds all components in one place. It helps keep a nice overview keeps the station vertically to drain the air to the top and enables the continuous monitoring thanks to its horizontal microscope. Here are the devices we need for the experiment. Three flow eases for each phase accordingly, link module, three flow units, reservoirs with P caps and tubings, double emulsion ray drop, optics with camera, reservoir for droplets, and a laptop. It is crucial to filter the liquids in order to avoid clogging. We use a pore size of 0.2 micrometers. It is also important to degas solutions to minimize the apparition of air bubble inside the system. For that, we degas reservoirs of all three phases in an ultrasonic bath for 30 minutes. Then, all fluidic lines have to be sequentially filled with liquid. We use the manual valve to first close the core and shell phase and open the continuous line. This is what the schematic of our system looks like. This can be done with a ray drop on the holder, but we will show it to you more closely. The ray drop is held vertically so that the air contained in the tubing can rise to the upper port automatically. Open briefly the upper port of the ray drop to evacuate the air and close it again. There still may be air in the core and shell phase tubings. Maintain a stable continuous pressure to fill back with a continuous phase, first the shell channel and then the core channel by opening the manual valves. All fluidic lines to the ray drop and to the waste are now wetted with the continuous phase and free of bubbles. We will first start by producing a single emulsion of the shell phase, in our case the oil, in the continuous phase. So the core phase remains closed and the shell phase is turned to the waste in order to wet the tubing from the reservoir to the valve. Air and bubbles are pushed to the waste. Set the pressure of the continuous phase to enable a flow rate of 300 to 350 microliters per minute. This is the optimal value for the double emulsion ray drop. Turn on the valve of the oil to the ray drop position. and increase the pressure until a flow rate of 20 to 25 microliters per minute is established. Droplets should appear soon. Next, increase the pressure until reaching a jetting mode. Maintain this mode to thoroughly flush the shell nozzle until the flow is perfectly stable. Once the nozzle is clean, reduce the pressure back to reach 20 to 25 microliters per minute and the droplet mode.
Turn around the valve of the core face to again push the air and the bubbles to the waist. Then turn the valve in the position from the reservoir to the raindrop. Adjust the pressure until a flow rate of 10 to 15 microliters per minute is reached. Maintain this rate for a while to flush the nozzle properly until the core flow is perfectly stable. You can then reduce the pressure in order to get a flow rate of 5 microliters per minute, or slightly less. The double emulsion production begins. The flow rate of the shell face may be increased to 30-35 microliters per minute. Let's check the results. Here they are, highly monodispersed, stable, double emulsion droplets. Felix is happy. At the end, do not forget to rinse the whole system with the appropriate solution like isopropanol. So this is how easy and straightforward this technology can be. If you want to know more about the full potential of double emulsion production, do get in touch with us and see you in the next videos.